thing was up, on the up and up like we finally had that talk like yo we're not gonna be bosom buddies no more we're gonna start being serious um i met a guy this was like seven years ago or something to work at separate different companies but the companies were like face to face so when you leave you would see the fellow people the workers was like oh you keep talking about this boy over and over again why don't you just you know say hi what's up how you doing what's what's popping i was like no nah, i'm not i'm not with that i'm not thirsty he went to the guy and was like yo she like you she are crushing you da 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 he came over we talked we kicked it off we started hanging out we saw each other like every day this was like going good like a summer type romance right then when the summer was ending he was like oh he's moving to virginia because he has a daughter and she was around that crucial stage where she needed a father figure because to him his his baby moms wasn't mother material so he was like he wanted to fall back a little bit because it was hard for him he's so used to seeing me all the time to not seeing me like every day like that so that was kind of tough for him and i was like why didn't she just you knew you was moving why didn't she just tell me this from jump street so i wouldn't like well i would have tried not to catch feelings you know he moved to virginia we were still talking on the phone um, anytime he came, I would visit him. He came, he would come visit me. He would link up and see how everything is going. And this went on for a good two years. Um, I noticed nothing was serious. So I started dating someone else. I got in a serious relationship with that person. Me and him was still cool. Me and that person broke up. Me and him got back close again. I started to now go visit him in Virginia. And I just thought everything was, you know, cool. Every, every time I asked him, like, are you messing with anybody or anything like that? He would say, no, my main focus is just on my daughter. He kept saying that he was moving back to New York. The problem is, is that now that I sit back and tell, my, tell you guys this story, I'm like, yo, Shay, don't you see the signs? Like, he's not that into you, guy we just was that was just us we always like have little arguments on the phone because i was like yo when are we gonna take this serious like when are we gonna move to the next step and he's like i just don't want to do that when i'm far away i don't believe in long distance relationships and blah 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 but i want you i want to be with you i want you to have my son like i have my daughter i just want you to have my kid i want us to settle down and all this stuff i'm getting my stuff ready to go because they're moving back to new york so i'm definitely moving back this year and everything was up on the up and up like we finally had that talk like yo we're not gonna be bosom buddies no more we're gonna start being serious so he came down for new year's eve we partied with each other and then he got a little attitude because i was like oh well i bought the tickets for the new year's eve party you can pay for coat check like duh he got an attitude because he was like you don't have to tell me to pay for coat check like just ask me and then that'll be it like you don't have to try to demand me like i'm like bruh chill out because it ain't even that serious so he was like funky kind of for the the night but we still had like a good time he kept texting on his phone and whatnot and people who like are a genuine couple or like trying to get there or have been um cozy with each other for a long time this is like four years now you would think after new year's ball drop everything you guys will kiss and go home together you know and then after that i didn't talk to him for a good couple of days and i was like yo what's wrong with you and this is where it became pathetic because i felt like i was like begging for somebody to speak to me i was like what is wrong with you like what's going on i thought we was cool oh i didn't appreciate like how you was acting at the party like demanding me to pay for coat check and i'm like that ticked you off to the point where you're not even gonna talk to me no more that's whack 
he was like i just need to st a step back um we still cool i just need a step back so i was like all right me back a couple months later he was like yo um like i really want this to work i really want us to be together and i'm just like we've been doing this dance for like four going on five years and if it's not going to like nothing is gonna blossom further for me and you like this is just whack because you're like you're playing with my emotions and i don't like that and if you you know me for this long i feel like we're friends too like you should have some sort of respect for me and he was like you're blowing this out of proportion and da 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 so we was cool but we never took it to that level and he kept claiming up and down that he's not messing with nobody fast forward like six months later ellie did move to jersey you know, let's sit down and really talk and i was like okay fine um i hit him up he never responded i went on instagram he barely was posting any pictures it's crazy how life ends up now you're going on social media to check up on somebody because now the calling and texting is not good enough um and then i saw he barely was posting and he must be talking to somebody else yo he must be talking to somebody else then no lie no lie a month later homeboy posted up a picture of him having just had triplets wait what <laughs> Like, this whole time, you was trying to get, telling me that I'm you just, like, your daughters are your priority, but so am I. And as soon as you move back, then we're going to sit down and talk and whatnot. And you just had triplets posting it on the gram. Wow. Wow. Being the lady that I am, I sent him a message under his picture and I said congratulations broski and he was like thank you camera is up mother lover because how you do somebody like that and that's crazy like my younger self doesn't get it but me as older now I'm like I would like saw all the signs like <laughs> He, he wouldn't settle down. He kept evading the conversation about you guys being serious. Like, he would not move on to the next step when it came to you. Like, that was just the signs. Like, he, he liked you, but he didn't like you like that. He was just not into you like how you were into him. And I would just tell a lot of girls, like, you got to read the signs, man. You got to read the signs. The uh-uh could be good. The kisses could be good. He could be hanging you out. Hang, you guys could be hanging out. The chemistry is right. But you also got to read the signs. Like if he's not trying to settle you down. Like if you haven't, you've known him for all these years. You haven't met the family. You haven't even met his kid. Even when you went to see him where his kid is. You got to read the signs. And I feel so dumb. But then, you know, you learn. You grow. You learn. You're able to tell other people. So, I mean, I wish him all the best. Um, you should never do people like that. You should let them know what it is from Jump Street. Don't string them along. Because karma comes back and bite you really hard. In ways that you might not even know. It might not even bite you. But bite somebody close to you. And... You're wondering like why is this happening to them you always gotta treat people how you want to be treated and if you're not rocking with them like that tell them yo i'm not rocking with you like that but that's my story thank you guys for watching my video i hope you like my story time for more videos from me please continue and if you haven't to like comment and subscribe share my videos tell your friends about me don't forget to follow me on social me all social media platforms essence of shay and also check out my blog um essenceofshay.wordpress.com it's more detail about like a personal diary if you would say and i love you guys for watching bye tiger lilies
poured glasses on and she thought she was suavemente but i looked at the glasses and they was fake facts bro 